Commissioner of the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice, Raj, Dr. Joseph Withao, said the actions of the Member of Parliament for Ayawaso West Wogan, Lydia Sarah Malhassan, can be considered corruption. We were not there, but we saw the media carried certain uh, unsettling developments, particularly in uh, Ayawaso West Wogan, and it falls within the checklist that we used to monitor. And that is particularly, I'm not, I'm not saying it is true, I know the Member of Parliament has denied it, but it is, you are, it's not right to treat, treat us in, as a, the legal term, to share food, to share money, to anybody in the queue in preparation to vote. Because it is tantamount to um, corruption and an integrity issue. He announced that a team of 300 trained personnel will be stationed at polling centers nationwide to observe and document the voting process. We are going to deploy 300 staff across the length and breadth of the country who will observe the elections but with a tool, a checklist that would enable us to monitor the right to vote. There are two different things there. We have, as a constitutional duty as well, we need the mandates of the Commission to uh, monitor the right to vote. And in particular, we are interested in, during the period of elections, right from six months uh, up to the election day itself. With December 3 being International Day for Persons with Disabilities, Dr. Withal emphasized the need to prioritize persons with disabilities at polling stations.